Namaste everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in this video. So recently I got uh, a request from a very old client of mine and uh, she wanted to know the foods that, you know, that uh, one must avoid as per the chart. Okay. So, you know, <clears throat> so in this video, I'll be telling you what foods you actually need to avoid or what foods can actually cause you health problems. Okay. Uh, so before we proceed, <clears throat> kindly subscribe to the channel like the content and uh, if you found it use if you find it useful please share it with your friends and family okay now uh, the principle or the astrological the astrological rule is that you must avoid the food which is connected to your 64th navamsha okay you must avoid the food related to the sign lord of the 64th navamsha so for those who are not familiar with navamsha navamsha is the uh, you know, it is a part of the 16 divisional charts. It is known as D9. Okay. And it is a microscopic examination of your ninth house. All right. Now, uh, how to know which foods to avoid. Okay. And the 64th Navamsha is the Karabhava. Okay. <clears throat> it is known as the Karabhava. Okay. So, Kara is usually the, you know, usually the the fourth house from Navamsha Lagna, that is the 64th Navamsha. But uh, when we extend this principle to food, you will find out the 64th Navamsha from the moon. Okay, you will find the 64th Navamsha from the moon and then avoid the food or give up the food that is, you know, that is uh, related to the, you know, related to the 64, uh, to the fourth house from the moon. Okay, so how to find out the 64th Navamsha from the moon? Count four houses from your Chandra Amsha. And what is Chandra Amsha? Chandra Amsha is the place where your moon is placed in the Navamsha. Chandra Amsha is the Rashi where the moon is placed in the Navamsha. Okay. Uh, so for example, say if your moon is uh, placed in Aries Navamsha, so your Chandra Amsha will be Cancer. Okay. Which is again ruled by the moon. Okay. Similarly, if your moon is placed in a Sagittarius Amsha, then your Chandra Amsha will be Pisces, which is ruled by Jupiter. Okay. If your moon is placed in a uh, Cancer Amsha, yes, if your moon is placed in Cancer Amsha, then your uh, 64th Navamsha from the moon is uh, Libra Amsha, okay, which is also called Tula Amsha. So that is how we will avoid. Okay. Again, if your moon is placed, say, in uh, Libra, if it is placed in Tula Amsha, then you will avoid foods which are ruled by Saturn because the 64th Navamsha from the moon will be Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn Amsha, Makar Amsha. All right. So what are the foods that are represented by, you know, what are the foods that are represented by the sign lords or the planetary lords? Yes, if your moon is in Taurus, okay, the 64th Navamsha from the moon will be Leo. Okay, so if the 64 Navamsha from the moon is in, is Leo, then you will avoid all kinds of pungent foods. Okay, garlic, onion, pepper, ginger, and so on. Okay, if your 64 Navamsha from the moon is Cancer, then you will avoid, you know, all kinds of saline or salty food. Okay, if your 64 Navamsha is uh, ruled by is uh, either Aries or Scorpio. You will avoid bitter foods, okay? Uh, cruciferous vegetables, cocoa, etc. Okay. If your 64th Navamsha from the moon is ruled by Gemini or, you know, or by Virgo, you will avoid mixed food, okay? What is mixed food? If you mix two or more tastes together, the resultant food is mixed food, okay? If your 64th Navamsha is ruled by Sagittarius or Pisces, you will avoid sweet things, okay? All kinds of sweets and sugar, all right? If your 64th Navamsha is ruled by uh, Libra or, you know, or Taurus, you'll avoid all kind of acidulous food, okay? For example, yogurt or sour tasting foods like lemons, okay? If your 64th Navamsha is either Capricorn or Aquarius, you will avoid all kinds of astringent food. Okay. For example, apple, pomegranate, yes, plantain, beans, sprouts, etc. 
Okay. Now there is another reason, you know, there is another reason why these uh, why these tastes are important when uh, which taste you need to avoid. Okay. You know, for example, we take bitter gourd to reduce uh, sugar levels in the body. Yes. So, you know, bitter taste is ruled by Mars and uh, sweetness is ruled by Jupiter. So Mars gets exalted and, you know, at a place where Jupiter gets debilitated. So that is the reason you use uh, bitter things to reduce sugar levels in the body. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> every auspicious event, we know that involves sharing of sweets, which is, of course, the energy of Jupiter. Okay, and people who have their ascendant lord connected to the moon, they would always enjoy the extra salt in their diet. All right. And, uh, you know, Venus, as I said, it represents uh, acidulous food like yogurt. Okay, so, you know, if you don't like yogurt, basically, it will, it will mean that Venus is afflicted in the chart. But if you don't like bitter foods, it will mean that Mars is afflicted in the chart. Okay, so... That is, you know, that is how you will look at which foods you need to avoid. And uh, it is said in the uh, Bhava Ratnakara that if you consume the food related to the 64 Navamsha of, from the moon, then that food has the potential to kill you. Okay. So be very careful in avoiding these foods. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, you each time you find out the 64 Navamsha from the moon, okay, you will actually find out that you are very, you know, fond of the food that is represented by the sign lord of the 64 Navamsha from the moon. So, for example, my, you know, my <coughs> moon is located in a Sagittarius Amsha in the Navamsha. And the 64 Navamsha from the moon is, of course, Pisces. So that is ruled by Jupiter and I'm very fond of sweets. Okay, it has, it has happened and it happens very frequently that the food, which is actually meant to kill you, you'll find it very attractive. You'll find it very tasty. All right, so try it out. Check this in your charts and let me know in the comment section. Your comments are, of course, very valuable for me. And I'll see you again in the next video. Namaste, everyone. Om Guru Namaha.